So this is the first part, one of the all region pieces that we're going to be working on. It's from set one, number three from the packet. And this week we're just working on the first three and a half measures. Now I rewrote this to make it a little bit easier and more clear um, from what's in the all region packet. Especially since we're not uh, face to face, I want to make sure that we really understand how this is going to work. So I'm going to go ahead and make this full screen. Oh, you're going to lose my webcam, so I apologize. So, first thing we need to look at is our key signature. Two flats, B flat, and E flat. So take a moment, take a mental picture um, through these measures where the B flats occur. One in measure one, one in measure two, one in measure three. So three total B flats, right? And you should have found these right here. Now, this we know is thumb one, two, three, four. This is just pincher, so register and A key. This same thing, pincher and A key. We also talked about E flats being the key signature. So take a gander and see if you can find the E flats in these measures. We do have several E's, but there's only one E flat, and it's right here in measure four. Right? The other E's, due to the accidental, are E naturals. But let's go to here, the one that has the key signature, so E flat. That's going to be thumb, one, two, and the bottom side key. And you're coming off F sharp, first finger by itself. Add thumb and two and bottom side key. Going to D, just lift the side key. And we are there. All right, the next thing I want to bring your attention to is we have quite a few accidentals starting in measure two. So E natural, right? So thumb and one, F sharp just first finger, no thumb, just first finger. Again here in measure three, just first finger F sharp. Again, another first finger F sharp. So make sure we're getting those in. And that little E flat right there, thumb one, two and bottom side key, okay? The next thing we always look at when we're looking at something new is the time signature. We're in eight, four. We don't see that very often. Um, You've probably not seen it at all in your band experience to this point. The actual piece is in 4-4, four, four, but it has some new rhythms that I didn't want to portray in the way they're written. So I, I doubled the value of everything, which puts this in 8-4. And really, all that tells us, that A on the top, is just telling us that there's eight beats in every measure. And if that quarter note gets the beat, when we have our metronome on... Each click is a quarter note. Right? And so you heard one entire measure of quarter notes. Quarter, 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 quarter. That's all that means. So for every two clicks, you're playing a half note. Right? So pretty straightforward. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to count our part. So sit up tall, tap your toe, and karate chop. I'm going to slow it down a little bit. Instead of that 120, I'm going to slow it down to, I'm going to slow it down to 100. Okay? So here we go. One, two, count, go. One, two, four, six, eight, two, te, four, te, five, eight, te, one, two, four, six, eight, two, four, five, off. We may have gotten tripped up a little bit in the numbers just because there are eight beats in a measure. You know, if you're following along, most of you don't have this hard copy packet so I would just encourage you to open this um, in a PDF editor um, I'm going to attach the PDF of all of, uh, of this excerpt that we're working on right now um, to this assignment so you can open up in Kami K-A-M-I it allows you to to 
put in text boxes and things to mark what you need to mark. Um, you could also open it up on a tablet and just use your finger to draw uh, things on it. But it'd be really helpful if you're following along um, and adding some of this these numbers in uh, to help out. So other than having eight beats in a measure, it's really pretty straightforward. One, two, four, five, six, eight, two, tay four, tay five, eight, tay one, two, five, six, eight, two, four, five, right? And so really straightforward, just a lot of downbeat stuff. The only kind of weird thing that really happens is this D tied to the D across the bar line and the G tied to the G across the bar line. But those are just going to get two counts. Just like a half note across the bar line is all that is, right? So it's really pretty straightforward. Um, okay, so now that we've counted it, I'm going to slow it down again and make it a little bit easier. We're going to go down to about 80. And I want to say note names. So just say note names. No cry chopping, no finger and long, just note names. Here we go. One and two and ready, go. G, A, B flat, C, D, E, F, G, A, B flat, rest. A, G, F sharp, C, B flat, A, G, F sharp, E, D, off. And that last E should have been what? Yep, should have been E flat. So thumb, one, two, bottom side key. You're exactly right. Okay. If you're feeling good about what we've just done, continue with me. If that was too fast, you needed some more time, I want you to pause the video, scrub it back a few seconds, and repeat the previous step to help you through that. Don't go on if you're not ready to go on. It's just going to compound frustrations. Get that fundamental really, really good before moving on. All right, so now we're going to finger the notes and say the note names. So here we go. One and two and ready, go. G, A, 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 B flat, C, E, 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 D, E, 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 F, G, A, B flat, rest. A, G, F sharp, C, E, 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 B flat, A, 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 G, E, 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 F sharp, E flat, D, done. All right, if you did that with no problems, continue. If you had some trouble, again, pause the video, go back a few seconds, and repeat that process once, two, three, four, five, fifteen, thirty times, whatever it takes to become really comfortable. If the tempo that I'm going is too quick, pause the video, get your own metronome, and slow it down to maybe 60 beats a minute. Whatever you need to do to be successful, but don't move on to the next step until you're really confident in the previous one. Okay, keeping it 80 beats for now. I want you to airplay as I play. Set up nice and tall, tap your toe. One, oh, one, two, ready. How'd you do? I bet really, really good. You, if you struggle to keep up a little bit, Probably measure two would be my guess, would be the first uh, problem. Um, pause the video, practice that measure, or practice the measure that you had the most trouble with. Don't go on until you can do it. Practice slow. Get the first step really, really good first. Okay? Now, if you're with me, we're going to speed it up a little bit. We're going to go from 80 to 85. Here we go. And a one. Airplay again, and a one, and two, and ready. Sorry, my C to come out. All right. If that went well, 
Speed it up five more beats per minute. We're going to go up to 90. Here we go. One, two, ready. Kept that up. Speed it up five more beats. If you had trouble, repeat this section. Don't go on. 95. One, two, ready. <laughs> Okay, we're gonna go five more beats. We're up at 100. Remember, if you're having trouble, don't move on to the next tempo until you can play it. Here's 100. One, oh, one, two, the breath. <laughs> squawky my, my embouchure getting tired I'm not, I'm not playing enough clarinet each day all right if you had no trouble and you're and you're welcome to be playing along by this point as we're increasing tempo feel free to be playing along okay so now we're going up to 105 here we go and one two ready <laughs> You do it 105. Good. If you had problems, again, don't move on. Now we're going to crank it up to 110. Here we go. And oh, one, two, big breath. <laughs> face is just about shot to keep from squawking and squeaking now what you would do if that went well you go back to the beginning crank it up to 115 if that goes well go back and crank it to 120 right and then if you're feeling really ambitious continue working those five beats per minute quicker so you can get to 140 or 150 or 160 maybe 170 but move in five beat per minute increments. I'm not requiring a, a, a minimum tempo, just that it's played very accurately. So go slow and, and develop through that technique. So this is going to be due on Friday, April 17th, by the end of the day. This is your grade for the week, and this is your Friday attendance check. So make sure that you spend time starting today going through this process, working on it. Follow the video through. If you're having trouble, don't move on. Don't go forward in the next step of the video until you're really comfortable with the previous one. When we move ahead and we're not ready, it compounds the frustrations and the difficulties. It's not going to magically just get better by moving on and, and, and hoping that the light bulb is going to click. Review that process. You know where you have trouble. You know if you're having trouble in measure two, go from the E, F sharp, G, A natural, B flat. Stop and practice just those notes. Maybe it's in measure three where you're going from F sharp up to C. If that's the problem, practice just those two notes until it's really confident. Right? Just a reminder, how do we play that third space C? Yeah, thumb, register, one, two, three, four, five, six, right, red. You're exactly right. That is how we're going to play that C. Go slow.
Y'all got this. If you need help, you can find me during my office hours. If you want me to work with just you, send me an email, and I will find a time for just you and I to work together for a few minutes and help you out. Work hard. I look forward to hearing your recordings, and let me know if I can help.